No. There's money sitting on that shelf right there for you. What is it? Money, 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 money. Oh, because they're the nativity. Avon nativity. Oh, yes. beautiful morning here in Tampa Florida and I am going to do something very fun today I am waiting for my ride and they should be here momentarily all right I'm at my first Goodwill in Florida and look who I'm with Hello. chapter Hi. 2 vintage co we are heading into Goodwill to see what we can find Oh my gosh, they're so cute. We don't have those. Every one we go to, they have this. Ten bucks. Oh my gosh, my daughter would love one of those, but getting that back might be a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I did a little research when I got home, and I could not find that same llama head base anywhere, but I did find several others selling for like $30 to $50 that weren't nearly as cute. So I actually advised Alex and Aaron that they should go scoop those up and sell them on eBay. Oh yeah, right here, come on. Um, no. This is awesome. This is just one of those fun things that you see it and you go, I just have to have that. Makes a great gift item too. Probably we'll put this down at the booth and sell it for like 10 to $12. It's not a big money maker, but it's just fun. It's just a fun thing. The shelves were really packed, but there wasn't a whole lot of stuff to grab. Mm -hmm. and, of, and of course, I'm having to be super duper picky because I have to get it all into a suitcase. Oh, this little guy is really cute, but his little tail's broken. He's a little, he's a little go fishing. It should say no fishing, not go fishing. Poor little fishy promoting his own demise. That's so sad. Because I've got suitcases, I'm not going to be able to buy much, so i got to be super picky. Oh, this is cute. Who makes that? I love that. There's another one on the other side, too? Ah. I'm trying to get to this piece. Here. Yeah. Oh, it's... Oh, is this the one that was in your video? Yeah. This is a good example of how that color just scratches right off. It's unfortunate because it's a pretty piece. It would be a super pretty piece if that was actually the color of the glass. But it's not. Ooh, these are recycled glass. These are pretty. There's... They make a whole circle. These are these are actually really cool. I love creative projects. That would be cute. Right? I found that. You found it? thought it was cool too. Why do you sound surprised? Oh, <laughs> you get somebody's little so Merry fun. Christmas it's project. Like it. It's neat, isn't it? It's very it has its tag from Jamaica. Did you say these? This is so adorable. With the little hot dogs and the plate. It's an Encore Productions. If I was home, I would probably, oh, I wouldn't pick it up because it's got a big crack. But if it didn't have a crack, I would have probably picked that up. Because that's just super cute. Did you pass by Mickey Mouse? I think so. Oh! <laughs> oh. They've got both pieces priced separately. What's that about? Yeah, that's strange because they go together, don't they? Sometimes they'll kind of work with you. I was going to say, you could probably just peel that one off. You know, like, it's cut. Oh! I don't see. Oh, he has a shaker. Wait a minute. Where's the. 
that's his. Where's the other shaker part? So is there another guy that fits in the seat? Oh, is Maybe. it missing? We're missing. Oh, we're missing a friend. Yeah. He's missing a friend. That's unfortunate because really. that would have been a cute little little piece. I mean, he's still kind of cute, just like he is. He doesn't, he doesn't need a passenger. I, he doesn't right. need, well, he, he does need a new nose, though. Yeah. That's that's kind of a deal killer right there, but yeah. he was cute. Header. That's interesting. Did you see this? It's kind of interesting. It's almost like a trivet. Like it's kind of sitting up like on a pedestal. And it's Petter. I've never heard of Petter. I'm going to look up Petter. Mm. He just brought this car to stuff out. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. I love these things. These these fake books. Oh, yeah. Those are neat. That actually pretty cool. That one's it's Paris. That's big. Could put a lot of, oh, it's only four bucks. Not bad. That's a, I love it. If I was home, I'd buy that because those are cool. Yeah, that's right. We still got those horse things for you. And oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's that? It's a Lillian Vernon. This is vintage. Made in Hong Kong. I think we had this in the park last week. Oh, a little, little Santa boot. Is there, are you in here, little Lily and Vernon? Where are you? Come out, come out. Oh, it's a little birdie. It's a little Lily and Vernon birdie. So I just thought this was really cute. And as you know, I do give things away in my live sales. I probably would not have just picked this up for resale. But it is pre-1997 based on the Hong Kong. I just find green Jesus. Is this is this Green Jesus? I, I or is that Green Joseph? It might be Green Joseph. It's broken Green Joseph. Maybe Joseph needs Jesus. All right, we'll put you back up there. You keep on your search. It's really fun to find things that you've seen in other people's videos, like these little uh, paperweights. They're acrylic. They're not even glass. Um, and then we were kind of joking that well, they're Murano. Because that's kind of a thing, is everybody thinks every piece of glass is Murano these days. And most of it is not. Um, but we were just having some fun there and kind of scouting through. And I've got a much different eye as I'm, you know, however many miles Florida is from Nevada. I don't even know. I don't even know how far that distance is. All I know is it's stuff that has to get into a suitcase. So I've got my eye on things that I can get into my suitcase. And believe it or not, I only have one. I'm trying to keep it easy and simple. I mean, I, I, I do end up buying another carry-on later, but well, you'll see that in the next video. Um, yeah, the next video is going to be really good too. So be sure you're subscribed so that you know when I upload that next video. But here, I'm just going through all the stuff, in, uh, particularly in plastics. I'm looking for Tupperware, and looky what I found. What's that? I'm coming down here. Is this? Look at that. We got some vintage Tupperware. Is this complete though? I feel like there's something missing. I feel like there's supposed to be something else on the top of this piece that's missing. Hmm. All right, we're gonna leave it. What's the number on this? There's a little number down there that I cannot read. Yeah, I think that's that's an expensive thing. Oh. And I'm gonna get that for my daughter's poopy. It's good padding for the suitcase too. <laughs> oh, for the dog? It's yeah, because she lives in an apartment, so she has one of those on her patio for her dog. 
Sweet. Ooh. Creepy babies. Last Goodwill I was at, I had a whole aisle. Someone whole doll collection was there. These are so cute. This new merchandise that they have is like super cute. Kitsch and Glam. There's a set of three bowls with whales on them. I mean, they are 20 bucks. It would be something I'd buy for myself at home, but how cute are those? Look at this poor little puppy. Who got rid of their child's art? That's what I want to know. That's, yeah. Who did that? Even worse are the baby photos. That end oh, up I hate I hate when the baby <laughs> photos get breaks my heart. Oh, look at what we got back here. Yes, that's how she can talk. They have all of this like just this is like liquidation, like new stuff. This is pretty crazy here. It's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, There's so much stuff back there. <sighs> Goodness gracious. This is really all like new stuff, but you know what? Like, don't discount new stuff. I mean, new stuff sells too. And if you're, you know, kind of multi, multi selling on like Amazon, Amazon and eBay and all that, you can find Amazon stuff in here. You scan some of these barcodes. I bet there's some good saleable stuff amongst all this good stuff doing the little retail arbitrage thing. Even like for eBay, this is just a little aside here. Something where there's multi-quantity. Let's say these only sell. I don't. I don't know what these are priced at yet. This is just a just a moment here. Let's just say you could pick these up for five dollars each, and there's you know there's like ten of them here, and let's say you could sell them for twenty dollars each. So there's a fifteen dollar margin, and each one of those times ten, ten times fifteen. What is that? 150 bucks on one listing. Did I do that math right? I may not have, but let's see how much are they? Oh, they're only $3.49. So honestly, if I were at home, I would have picked up every single one of these and put them on for $19.99. Cause you create one listing. And even though it's not a super huge margin, I mean, 15 is okay. You can make a ton of money. And I know some of you are going, but I wouldn't want to ship it. It's too big. No, no, you could ship this because uh, it's thin. I really might have to like look up what this goes goes for and let uh, Alex and Aaron maybe take advantage of this. We're gonna go check that out. Oh my goodness, there is so much new stuff here. Oh, look at the cute cow. Ooh, look at these for two ninety nine. What? What? Those are so cute. But can't put it in the suitcase. What are these? Dipping bowls. Let's look in the dip. Oh, they're cute little dipping bowls. Wow, there are some really, really great opportunities for product here. Look at this. Look at these little sets. There's a whole bunch of them. Be our guest. Grasslands Roads. Grasslands Road. I think that's a decent brand. Those are really cute. So I am I am not a purist when it comes to just selling vintage. I'm selling home decor. I'm selling things that you know, people who like vintage things are also going to like. So I don't go too far off the beaten path when I'm picking up home decor, but I'll certainly pick up cute things, things that spark an emotion, things that people can use in their decor that kind of fall in line with the same reasons that they buy the vintage stuff that, that I pick up. So there's no, there's no shame in selling new stuff. There really isn't because... The millennials love the new stuff, and there's lots of those out there shopping. Luigi Bermioli. Hmm. That sounds bougie. I'm going to hold on to that for a minute and see if we can find another one. 
So I pulled off these glasses from the shelf and what caught my eye was the green and then the the really nice crystal stems. Um, still trying to quite figure out these stems with the little kind of facets on them. This one was interesting though because it did have the remnants of a label on there and it does look like a vintage label. Can't tell. And then the other thing is they're dirty. They've been sitting either in a cupboard or up on a shelf uh, which is a good sign of them being vintage. They are $1.98 each. Um, probably not going to pick these up because I'm traveling. But they were interesting and I did want to get my hands on them. And I am going to offer them to Alex and Aaron and see if they're interested in them. Another one of those. Try getting that out of your bucket. Yeah, no. <laughs> and they want fifteen for it. I thought this was a hobbyist piece at first, but I don't think it is. Somebody else's project. That is so sad. Oh my gosh, is that big for us, Owen? Ooh, did you find something? The wasted days last day. Oh, this is different with the actual real shell on top all right Haven't found any glass babies in the in the wild yet, huh? And what? No. Glass baby. <gasps> no. There's money sitting on that shelf right there for you. What is it? Money, 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 money. Oh, because they're the nativity. Avon nativity. Oh yes. All right. So I found a few things. I found three of these little vintage Lily and Vernon little bowls. I don't know if they're supposed to be like replicas of some little fancy schmancy little bowls, but they're really super cute. So got those for $1.98 each. And then I found this, this was interesting. It feels like it's like a marble, a stone, a marble. Um, I think it's supposed to be a, like a replica of Scrimshaw. Uh, it's got a porpoise and some shells and a ship and approaching backwards an animal bigger than a house, hmm, a whale for $1.98. So I'm gonna grab that. That's pretty easy to get into the suitcase. Oh yes, Peanut and Ozzy are getting some new beds. And I did find some pretty shells.
I had such a fantastic time with Alex and Erin and their amazing kids. They are Chapter 2 Vintage Co. on YouTube. Go find them. Go check out their thrifting videos and their live sales. They sell some pretty cool stuff. And as always, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.